Hey all you crafters out there, it's me once again, Matthew Montanez, and I'm here with the Home Pro Shop Bottle Cutter Club. As always, you know, I got my bottle cutter right here from the Home Pro Shop. I love it, and I'm about to do another project with it, you know, how I do it, so it's going to be a fun one. It's uh, very easy, actually, and it's more of like a gift item that you can do for uh, a friend, a family member, and it's an ashtray. So it's pretty cool. I don't smoke, unfortunately, or I shouldn't even say unfortunately, but I don't smoke, so I don't have a cigarette or anything to show to demonstrate it. But I have these cool bottles that I had, and I was like, wow, I like the base of them. And that's what I really love. So I have these bottles, and this base has like a cool little design at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, so it's a little rough. And um, it's really cool. It's a nice texture, it gives us some character. So I was like, hey, we should do something with these bottles. And I was like, hey, let's make an ashtray. So they're small, they're convenient. You can just put them around your house. They look real nice. And uh, just fill it up with sand or something. So I got about, let's see, three of them. One, two, and three. And I'm going to see if I can get all of them with the clean cut. So this is going to be a fun one. Whoops. Should have measured it first. Let's see if that's going to work. Now. So I got to flip the owl bracket the other way. And. Uh, we're just going to cut the base off just right above the design there just so it's real clean looking and it'll be really cool like i said as a gift for someone who smokes or you know you need it for your business office or something that'd be awesome so let's go right above that line there it should sit pretty good i'm gonna go like probably a quarter of an inch right above the line just so i don't fall into any kind of funny groove that in place and as always when you're getting started you're setting up you want to make sure you have some uh, hot water boiling on your stovetop and also some cold water in your freezer so when we do our score and we dip it back and forth to separate the glass it's ready to go and you're not just waiting around stuck so we got our measurement and it looks pretty clean it's right up on the line I'm actually going to push it just a hair more <laughs> just a hair like that so, as always, uh, depending which hand you're rotating towards you, I like to use my right hand and rotate towards me. You just need one revolution around the bottle to do an even score. And your left hand just guides and holds it against the base. You know, just a little bit of pressure, especially when you're doing smaller glass like this, like beer bottles and stuff. You need a little less pressure than you would do on a wine bottle. There we go. A nice even score. That looks great. Pretty good. It looks like I, I went a little uneven here. So I'm actually going to put a little more pressure here. And that's something that I started learning too is now that I'm doing this more and more, you know, you only get better as, as the more you practice it. So I found out that if you look at your bottle and you notice that you have a little less pressure in some spots, you can actually go back and actually just Put a little more pressure and just remark your line. And then just make sure that line looks even all the way around. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move that one to the side. Let's do number two. Take measurement and let's go. There we go. And let's check our line one more time. And it's right there. It looks like I got a little uneven. These little bottles are tricky because like I said, you don't want to put as much pressure as you would a wine bottle or else they will crack. They will crack very funny. Try number three. I'm hoping I get three out of three here. And that'd be cool. If I had four bottles, it would have been a full set, which is neat, but three works, right? Three works. <laughs> I just really like the design on the base of these bottles. I think they're really cool. Let me see that one. That looks pretty good all the way around, except this one little hair spot. Sometimes you don't need to go back. I mean, I never really paid attention to it before, but then I noticed that I kept practicing. It's like, okay, that score's a little uneven there. So I got my bottles cut, and um, they look great. Let me move this uh, to the side. I'm gonna go get my water, and then uh, we will get um, these separated and sand them down. All right, everyone, I'm back, and I got my ice cold water here. I got my hot steaming water here. You can see the steam. 
and I'm going to dip the bottles over one by one. And I like to start with the cold water first. For some reason, I feel like I get better results that way. And you want to make sure the entire score is submerged. You want to count 10, 15 seconds, and just, you know, five seconds even more. Just make sure it's all submerged, and you can even give it a little twist to make sure the water gets inside that score, and that's how it's going to separate. If it doesn't work the first time, always just try again. Just go back and forth, and it will separate. You shouldn't have to add any pressure of your own. The water should do all the work. So you can hear it start cracking like that too. It's really cool. And just give it a little turn, like I said, to make sure all the water gets inside that score. And the one fell off. <laughs> it's in the hot water, which is, I don't want to reach my hand in there, so I'm going to have to drain it before I pull it out. And it was a clean cut, which I'm very happy about. Separate next. There's that crack. Hopefully, that's gonna pop off shortly. These two bottles are ready to go. <laughs> we just don't want to separate. Back and forth. Oh! They both popped off. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let me go empty this one so I can pull this hot one out. So it looks like, unfortunately, one of them did not do a clean cut, but it's alright. I'll just find two more bottles that look like this. And these two did though, so hey, 66% there. It's pretty good. So I got two of them. And here we are, so you can see that. Nice clean cut, you can see the texture on the bottom and I'm just right above the texture. So it looks really cool. And I like that. So imagine if these were colored glasses, I'd be really happy about that. And then you know my technique, I just put the sandpaper down, put it down, and I just twist it. It's so cool. I mean, look how nice that looks. You can find a colored glass like this or something with just a textured base like this. And you got a homemade gift right there for someone who smokes it. And a little ashtray. Or it can even be a little candle holder. So that's pretty cool too. Let the wax strip in there. I like this a lot. This is really cool. They stack kind of neatly in there. <laughs> But there you go, and they're they're small, they're portable, you can move them around, they can sit nice and neat in a little cup holder or something. Um, they're really cool, these are really nice. Um, yeah, I like them. So if I can get two more glasses just like these bottles here, um, I'll cut the bases and hopefully I can get another, another, another two and I'll have a, a full set there. So yeah, as always everybody, I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you're having a great time and loving your bottle cutter from the Home Pro Shop. I love mine, I hope you're loving yours. If you have any suggestions or any questions, comments, or just wanna say hi, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, to buy one of these Home Pro Shop bottle cutters, it's in the description below. So you can always get your own and start doing amazing or fun, quick, cool little projects like this. As always, don't forget to join our Facebook group. That's where other crafters just like you and I or we are helping each other out showing what we've been working on and you can get some new ideas or you can even post your ideas to help other crafters out so until next time take care